Hello everyone. Today I'd like to do a project video with this load cell kit that I got from Banggood. The kit comes with four load cells that are three wire load cells and a board so that you can bring all the load cells together and then into your Arduino. I got this kit so that I could add a load cell to my chicken coop on my nest box in my chicken coop. So the idea is I can add a LoRa module sometime later and I can tell exactly how many eggs or how much poop my chickens have put in the nest box. Uh, every day when I get home I should be able to see that and I thought that'd be cool. Completely useless really but I thought it'd be cool. So. When I got these load cells, I noticed that uh, you're going to have to have something to go around the bottom of them to kind of crib them up because they're completely flat on the bottom except for these two little rivets, but they need to be able to bend, at least the middle part needs to be able to bend down to work the strain gauge and actually measure the weight that you're putting on it. So I've looked around and I found a couple of different 3D models on Thingiverse and I'll try to print one of those out now and then we'll come right back and we'll see how that works and if it works the link for the 3D model will be in the description. Alright so I'm back from Thingiverse and I got this 3D file from Thingiverse to print off. This bracket just holds the load cell in place and friction fit kind of snaps in there make sure it's down all the way and then you screw this to the bottom of whatever platform I'll screw it to the bottom of my nest box and then I gotta print four more of these then wire it up and we'll be able to see how many chicken eggs I get or chicken turds whatever they put in that nest box for me so I'll go ahead and print off print off print up three more of these and then we'll start wiring all right today is now tomorrow and all of the 3d prints are printed and all of the load cells are snapped in and so I went out to the shop and I've got a piece of plywood oh, that's not gonna fit I'll screw these load cells down right quick and we'll come right back Alrighty, got all the load cells screwed down. The next step was going to be wiring everything up. I'm going to go to the Banggood's website and get the wiring diagram. And I've labeled these 1, 2, 3, and 4 to kind of make it easier to follow along with their wiring diagram. I'm going to solder all this up and we'll come right back and get it hooked up to an Arduino. Okay, got the wiring for the load cell all done. I just taped everything down for now and underneath here is the control board for the load cells and I got four wires coming out of it into the Arduino uh, VCC ground and data out and system clock so in the library I they have you go into uh, four and five I think but for for my Arduino, I like to put it on two and three, but you can pick whichever pins you want to stick it on for the data and the system clock. So the next step is going to be to calibrate. So I have another board set over here. This board will go over top of the load cells, and then we'll upload the program to the Arduino and start the calibration program. Okay, now to calibrate the scale I just built, I need to run a calibration program. So I'm gonna go to my Arduino IDE, File, Examples, scroll down and find the uh, HX711 and calibrate. So in my or on my Arduino I 
change these two pins. So I'm going to change these to three and two. And then this is the starting point of your calibration factor. And I know that it's going to need to be a much smaller number, but we'll just go ahead and run it and see what we get. So when you run this, you open the serial monitor and it will tell you the calibration factor on the right and the value that your load cell is putting out on the left. So I'll go ahead and pause that. Uh, so you can see that the calibration factor is 696 and we're getting a 0.05 on the load cell output. Uh, I know I have a known value of uh, 100 grams. I'm going to place it on the scale. And it tells me that that thing is 3.3. So I know that's way off. If you're pretty close, you can use the uh, command prompt or the, the serial monitor to add or subtract 10 or one by putting in a capital L or a upper or a lowercase L. But I know from experience that I'm very far off from that. So what I'm gonna do is change my calibration factor to something a little bit closer. So I, I need to go up. So I'm gonna go down with this value. So I'm gonna go to oops, 50 and then reload that. And when you reload it, make sure you take your your weight off the scale. So now when I put my weight on there, 100 grams. Closer. So from this point, I can start putting in uh, capital L, enter, and then I changed it to 40. It looks like the value went up. So I'm going to put another capital L, enter, still going up, capital L, enter, oh, now I think I need to go up a little to bring that down, so I'm going to do a lowercase h, I should add a 1, and a lowercase h. So that's pretty close. I'll put 22 in for the calibration factor. And take it off my scale, reload it. Open the serial monitor. Put my weight back on there. And that's pretty close. It should be around 100 grams and that's, a, that's 105, so. I'll use that calibration factor in my other program. Well, that pretty much wraps up this project. So uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Feel free to comment. And the link for the library for this and the link for the where I got the load cells will all be in the description.